I'm Baller, and I skate with the North Star Roller Girls. We're the Minneapolis Roller Derby League here, and we're uh, scrimmaging during Comic Con. <laughs> and how long have you been doing this? This is my third year, so I've been playing for two full seasons, and I was actually a mid-season recruit. My goodness. So I have like two and a half years, and I'm going on to my third. So are you a blocker or a jammer? Both. Both. Uh, yep, I do both. I am. Um, have started jamming more. The jammers are the ones that score all the points, so they skate really fast and um, skate through the pack and skate past the blockers, hopefully, ideally, <laughs> <laughs> or, or get knocked over a bunch. And then the blockers are the ones that try to stop them from scoring the points. What's the most number of points you've scored in a jam? Ooh, that is a really good point. I scored like, I don't know, 30 maybe. <laughs> <laughs> they call them like, sometimes you can get a power jam, where you, um, the other jammer's in the box, so you can just score score points around points around points for the whole two minutes. So if you get in a power jam situation, you can rack up points pretty fast. Okay, it's now, very cool. you're decorated. I can see swag yes. here. So these, these are actually duct tape because my pads are old and <laughs> ratchety. <laughs> Oh, there's a guy in there selling pads. I know, I need to buy new pads. So this is um, not purposeful swag, but it's to keep my padding on. Gotcha. Um, but yes, we like to decorate our helmets, kind of personalize them, give them our own little feel. So, so a lot of girls- swag, and what's on the back yeah, here, your name? Baller. yep. Baller. and Baller. Says Baller, I'm sorry. Yeah, <laughs> that's fine. Baller, okay. Bailar in Spanish for dance. Oh, I see. So it's a multilingual pun. I like it. <laughs> Terrific. What do you like most about it? I mean, why do you keep coming back? Uh, I just love, I love the family. I mean, roller derby is such a small community, but everybody sticks up for each other. I never had any sisters growing up, so I think it's kind of my own little sisterhood. Um, and there's always more to learn. It's not a sport that you can just kick up really fast and, and get really good at. You have to always be learning and keeping in shape and I mean right when I started I was so all over the place I mean Wanda was there I was very sloppy and you know it takes a lot of time to develop those muscles and develop that sort of self-confidence it's a strategy game um, it took me a long time to like learn the, the smart side of the game and the rules and the different plays and how you know how to be kind of the best team member that I can be so it's a good self-confidence builder and also like camaraderie group effort team sport too well what have you picked up at this training i mean admittedly it's for referees not specifically for, for you but <laughs> well we are scrimmaging for two hours straight today and usually we only scrimmage for about 40 minutes so <laughs> we do like two 20 minute halves and that's about um or sometimes it's 30 minute halves but we're doing four 30 minute halves so I'm picking up a lot of endurance today. <laughs> hey, any last thoughts? Anyone you want to give a shout out to? Um, Tell the fans that we're playing at the Coliseum in Falcon Heights this year. So um, it's going to be a new venue, which means like a whole new entertainment opportunities. And just, I'm really excited. It's going to be awesome. Cool. So get out there. Yeah, thanks. <laughs> well, thank you. For sure. <laughs> My name is Wanda Go. I am with the North Star Roller Girls. I'm on the production board, and so I've been setting up this whole uh, scrimmage for today. I'll just go, go into that briefly here. What is that's going on today? Today, uh, the North Star Roller Girls are hosting the Women's Flat Track Roller Derby Association Officiating Clinic, which is where uh, officials from all over the nation can come together and learn skills for bouting and scrimmaging and make themselves better officials. There are several uh, pages of rules uh, regarding how gameplay uh, happens, how track setup it happens, what, uh, how the numbers on uniforms are set up, uh, everything that you can think of. And if you do not comply with the rules, you can be uh, penalized with a penalty, so you have to sit out of the bout for 30 seconds. So approximately how many hours of training does a referee need to be a ref? <laughs> I haven't <laughs> a lot. Uh, a referee has to uh, train for months on end to become an effective official for the game. Are there tr official trainings? You go and you're sort of a sub-official for a while? A lot of the training happens within a league. Uh, the 
Women's Flat Track Roller Derby Association official clinics are really a good opportunity to go to after you've been a, an, an official for six months or so. In some other location? In all locations. They actually recommend that you have six months of experience behind you before you go to a clinic. My derby name is the Panty Christ. My, my government name is Don Minette. And I'm a full-time employee for the organization. Um, and I travel all over the world doing this, get, doing clinics for leagues and, and referees, officials. Is it different in different countries? Somewhat. Um, we, when we were in Colombia last year, we were working a lot of our verbal cues in Spanish. Um, but I've done clinics in Cape Town, South Africa, and Australia, Europe, multiple places in Europe, uh, South America. So yeah, we, we get all over the place. Here in Minnesota, how many bouts are there? <laughs> well, there's several leagues in Minnesota. In the Women's Flat Track Roller Derby Association, there are, I believe, about six leagues that are uh, associated with them. And then on top of that, there's about 20 to 25 leagues of roller derby in Minnesota. Each of whom have their own bouts every weekend? or Each almost? of them have their own bouts. Uh, usually they have about six public bouts per year. And then they have some travel bouts that are closed bouts and scrimmages that they compete, but without an audience. Is there interleague bouting? Yes. Um, for our league, the North Star Roller Girls, we have four home teams. Uh, they are the uh, Delta Delta Die, Kilmore Girls, Violent Femmes, and the Banger Sisters. And from those four home teams, we have two travel teams, our Supernovas, which are the A team, and then the Northern Lights, which are the B team. So that's six? Six total. Six teams. And here in the Twin Cities, Minneapolis-St. Paul, where would people go to see them? Well, the North Star Roller Girls are excited to go to a new venue this year. We will be going to the State Fair Coliseum. So the Lee and Rose Wa uh, Warner Coliseum will be hosting us next year, and our bouts start on November 8. Hmm. And how many referees are per in a bout? Right. There are about there's seven skating referees, and then we also have non-skating officials who take care of the paperwork and penalty timing and the scoreboard and different things like that. Roller derby is a very unique sport where you're playing offense and defense at the same time. What you'd like to, what you do is you have a person called a jammer who wears a star in their helmet and that is the scorer, scorer position of roller derby. So they will go, come through and fight their way through four opposing blockers uh, as four of their team members are also trying to help them through skating against the other jammer, trying to get around and race and then pass all of their, uh, the opposing blockers. It's very exciting. If you did it in the sky, it could be Kidditch. It could be. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, um, any last thoughts, any questions you, you've never been answered or asked that you'd like to talk about now? Uh, we're really excited that uh, Women's Roller Derby is coming into the forefront. Women's Roller Derby has had a resurgent after uh, starting about 10 years ago. Uh, the North Star Roller Girls are going into their ninth season, so they really should, people should come on down and see us at the Coliseum on November 8th. And what's your contact information? What's your website? www.northstarrollergirls.com Great. And I, once again, what was your name? My name is Wanda Go. Wanda Go. As in, Want to go? <laughs> gotcha. Okay, well, thank you very much. Thank you.